Welcome to Where Thermal Equilibrium Diagrams Come From, or TEDs for short. First we'll have a look at the cooling curve. The two most important points for us today on a cooling curve are here, where solidification starts, and here, where solidification ends. Now this is a cooling curve of a pure metal, and in the case of a pure metal, solidification starts and ends at the same temperature, which is here. And if this were copper, for example, the temperature would be 1083 degrees Celsius. Now this is the cooling curve for a bimetal alloy. A bimetal alloy is an alloy made up of two pure metals. And as we can see, solidification starts here, and solidification ends here. And this gives us two distinct different temperatures. Now this cooling curve is specifically for an alloy made of 60% copper and 40% nickel. If we were to change those ratios, we would change the curve. So what we need to do is have a look at the different cooling curves for different percentages of copper versus percentages of nickel. I'm just going to fire these in side by side so we can get a broad idea of the cooling characteristics of a copper nickel alloy. Now I've highlighted with these green dots the start and end points of solidification so we can see more clearly what's going on. Okay, now that we have our cooling curve graphs all lined up, I'm just going to rotate them so we're looking edge on. There we go. And you can see we're left with a series of vertical lines denoting the different percentages where copper is decreasing and nickel is increasing. And I still have my green dots in there. Now all we have to do is make this look a little bit more like a graph. So we'll fire a line in along the bottom here and we'll join the dots. So there we have our thermal equilibrium diagram, or our TED. While we have it up on the screen, let's give a quick revision as to the different areas in the TED. Above where solidification starts, we have a liquid phase. Below the line where solidification ends, we have solid. And in between, you've guessed it, is a mixture of liquid and solid. Now the line between the liquid and the liquid and solid is known as the liquidus line and the line between liquid and solid and solid is the solidus line. Now that's where thermal equilibrium diagrams come from.